if you want to make a bomb, you want to isolate the uranium-235 from the uranium-234 and 238. Most of the uranium ore is uranium-238. Not useful for you. About no more than 1% of the uranium that is mined is uranium-235. So you want to enrich that. You want just the uranium-235. Well, how are you going to do it? These atoms are mixed together completely. How are you going to pull out the one that's in between the other two? Use a centrifuge. Well, centrifuges don't work on solid matter. You have to turn the matter into a fluid. It's a homogeneous substance that takes the shape of its container. So liquid is fluid. The study in physics of fluid dynamics is the study of objects moving through gas and liquid. One way to do this is to turn it into a liquid, but it turns out it's easier to turn it into a gas. Once you gasify the uranium, you now centrifuge it. You spin it. The centrifugal forces will separate out the U-238 from the U-234, leaving the U-235 in between those two. So these centrifuges are complex bits of engineering to siphon out the uranium-235 in between the 234 and 238. Now, if you pull it out when it's enriched by 5%, that would mean what you pulled out is 5% uranium-235. That's good enough for nuclear power plants. Sure. Want to make energy from fission? Go right ahead. Up the purity to 20% or more? That's enough to power sort of nuclear propulsion in, for example, nuclear submarines for the Navy. And the value of that is it can stay underwater for much longer periods of time before refueling. But to make a bomb, it has to be so purified that at least 90% of the uranium that's extracted is composed of uranium-235. So it all depends on your goal.